Hello fellow teachers. In this video I'm going to show you how to add an assignment in Schoology. And this is useful for any number of purposes. So let's say you know you tell the kids they have a reading assignment and you don't want them to forget what it is. You can just post it right in Schoology. It's fairly easy to do. So you go to the Add Materials uh, section here. You click on Add Assignment. Okay, And now you're ready to post. And I give it a title. So Homework. Um, we'll call this uh, Creative, creative writing assignment. Yeah. Creative writing assignment, and I, I like to put a due date in the title, uh, just because you know, just because to help them. So we're gonna say read um, one of John Donne's uh, sonnets, and what you can do, uh, you can include a link to the sonnet. So I've got my sonnet here. I'm gonna copy it, and I'm gonna put the link here. Now you notice it's not blue, so I'm going to highlight it. And when I highlight it, I click on this little thing here, that's the link symbol. Click on link and control V. So I paste in the uh, the uh, link again and I go insert and now it's blue. So if they click on it, they can get right to it. So I can include uh, I can include also that link down here. So let's say I control V, paste the link and then give it a title. So this is the Don Sonnet. Okay. Now let's say that you know I want to get uh, really creative, so I want to I want to really challenge their creative writing skills. So I want to post another link. So let's say I want them to compare the Holy Sonnet to this dancing panda video. Let's see what they can what they can do with that. So I'll put in another link here. Control V. By the way, what I'm doing here is Control C. You hit those two buttons together, it copies the highlighted portion. Come over here, and Control V. And then on the title, we've got dancing panda. Attach that, and that link will pop up for them too when they open the assignment. Uh, give them, give them a due date. I think I said like 9:13. How many points do you want it worth? You can put, you know, whatever you want here. If there's going to be a quiz, normally I'll put 15. If there's a 15-point quiz, but if there's nothing, if there's nothing specifically in the grade book that like they don't have to submit something to this assignment, I'll just call it ungraded. So that way, when I go to my grade book. And I, I can filter out the assignments that have no grades. And so this won't even appear in the column taking up space. So I'll put it as ungraded. But let's say they have to submit something. You might choose to do homework instead. So we'll go ungraded. And then finally, uh, this is an, a nifty tool here, copy to courses. So let's say you've got you know f uh, four sections of creative writing. And so you want to give it to all of them. You can just click to add it. To all of these, and if you know one class you want it to be ungraded, and another class you want it to be graded, you can do all those all those things. Just click on the boxes, and decide what you're going to do, and then hit, uh, and then you hit create, and your assignment is done, and it appears at the bottom of your at the bottom of your folder. So there you go.